library card sign up month. It's held every year as school starts back because a library card often marks the first step towards academic success for young students. Elena Connard explains how a library card isn't what it used to be. A library card doesn't just get you books anymore. Libraries have had to change with the times, and now libraries in north central West Virginia are seeing an increase in borrowership thanks to what else this card can get you. We do have a huge selection of DVDs, and you know, there's not a charge, so you know, we do have a lot of uh, draw for that. Um, we also have a lot of draw for um, children's programming. Out of the more than 21,000 library card holders at the Clarksburg Harrison Public Library, many of them are children. Kids programming aims to build social skills and increase vocabularies in its littlest readers. Plus, events at the library often help foster a positive relationship with adults and children. Ask the parents at the beginning and the end if they have a, if their child has a card, and if they don't, then they get to sign up and they get like free stickers and different little prizes that goes along. Along with it. To get young readers to sign up for library cards, librarians have stepped out from the library walls. The Clarksburg Harrison Public Library now sponsors events at the mall where those who come can sign up for a library card right on the spot. And I also go out to daycares and Head Start, and we do programs Wednesday through Friday in the evenings with them. So everything and every aspect has increased. In the last few years, libraries have seen an increase in borrowship because of tech gadgets like e-readers. The books remain a staple to those who love to still feel the pages in their fingers. And another way libraries have adapted with the times is in the way people get library cards. There's not as much documentation. Um, basically, if you have a valid photo ID, that is really all we need. For West Virginia Tonight in Clarksburg, I'm Elena Conard.